Hey guys, back with another video. Quick video for you guys is for the Topps Chrome UFC 2024 two Chrome autographs card per box. This is called the Hobby Box. Um, you get 12 packs, eight cards per box. So I took the liberty of going through it and uh, I'm gonna show you guys some of the pulls I got from it. So we'll set that to the side and we'll just run through these real quick. So we got Yuri Rodriguez, sick card, base card. We got Shang, Zhong, Shang Sung Jong, the Korean Zombie, Magenta. And I believe I have his base card somewhere. But yeah, there's that one. We got um, Bilal Muhammad, base card. Bilal Muhammad, negative card. We have Amir, base. Amir, flare. We got Amir, magenta. We got Muhammad, right here. It's one of those cool prisms. We got Macy Barber, again, one of those prism cards. And then we got Islam. This is um, Khabib's cousin. Uh, man, these guys are dogs. Their wrestling is crazy. But I believe he has better striking than Khabib, but not better wrestling than Khabib. Because Khabib, if anybody knows, is unstoppable in that takedown. So I'll move that to the side. Right here, we got Tito Ortiz. Now, I was really stunned to see Tito Ortiz in this... Um, this pack because those that know TRTs knows that the beef he has with the UFC and Dana White, he, you know, he's called Dana White, all these names. He's wore shirts of this and Dana White. And the fact that he made it on these top Chrome cards was pretty sick because I go all the way back to when he fought Ken Shamrock and um, they had that rivalry when he fought T uh, Chuck Liddell. And so that's pretty cool to see um, TRTs. And then again, talking about Chuck Liddell, Again, this guy's a legend. He's a, these two are the ones like literally that carried the UFC at the beginning, along with Hoist Gracie, Randy Couture, George St. Pierre. So these guys are, the newer crowd don't know, but these guys are the guys that started it. I got base card of Chuck Liddell and I got the negative card of Chuck Liddell. Um, and there's that base card I was telling you about, Jang Shung, uh, Jung, the Korean zombie. I'll put that to the side. Um, going off with these two guys though, but if anybody, uh, it's unfortunate for Chuck Liddell because at one point, this guy was knocking everybody out. And um, it don't matter who he touches. Anybody with that overhand right, he's knocked, he's putting to sleep. Um, unfortunately, throughout his career, he fought Quentin Rampage. Um, and Quentin Rampage actually knocked him out. And after he got knocked out once, he just started getting knocked out over and over and over again. He got knocked out by Quentin. He got knocked out by... Um, Rashad Evans, and then he got knocked out by Rich Franklin, and then he got knocked out by uh, Shogun, Shogun Rua, and then Tito Ortiz actually knocked him out in the like their third fight, because these guys fought three times, and Chuck Liddell got the best of them twice, but then Tito Ortiz, after he's been knocked out all those times, finally got the best of Chuck Liddell, but at that point, Chuck Liddell was way past his prime, but it doesn't take away what kind of fighter he was, and this guy was the best at one point. Um, so it's really cool to see again this is not a magenta or a gold but just having these two cards of Chuck Liddell and Tito is pretty sick I like that um, moving on we got um, Dracus Diplisi this guy is currently the champion he beat Sean Strickland to become the champion um, which could have went either way I think you know Sean Strickland actually beat him but whatever uh, we got Wonder Boy the Karate Kid we got Thug Rose we got um, Doug Rose, he's actually going to be fighting here soon. We got Max Holloway, Lota Machida, Rashad Evans, again, it's the guy that knocked out of Chuck Liddell. Don Fry, super legend here. If you guys get a chance, go watch um, Don Fry fight, uh, fight in Pride. He fought against some Japanese fighter. They ended up locking arms in the first round and just slugged each other back and forth, back and forth, back and forth for probably about a minute. And then uh, released... And once they released each other's arms, that guy's face was completely swollen shut. So Don Fry is a beast. He actually fought Ken Shamrock in Pride. And I believe Ken Shamrock broke both his ankles or one of his ankles. And yet he kept fighting. That's how much of a dog this guy is. Uh, Tony Ferguson and Dan Henderson. Tony Ferguson's had suffered a couple of loss, uh, knockout losses. And hopefully he retires soon. Because if not, I believe he's going to get knocked out again. But at one point, this guy had a 
uh, complete. Um, he's never been beat, and then he just started getting beat one after another, one after another. Um, he fought Justin Gaethje and took so many uh, punches by Justin Gaethje that I believe he was never the same after that fight. Um, we got Dan Henderson. Again, this guy's super legends. Knocked out Vanderlei Silva. He's knocked out Fedor Emelianenko. He's knocked out Michael Bisping. This guy, even though he doesn't look, you know, threatening, this guy was a dog. So I'll move that to the side. We got one of those cool cards, one of those um, now generation, uh, Erzero Asanya. Um, so I heard something about a buyback on this one. If you guys know anything more, you know, please comment. But it's about um, if you get one of these cards, I guess Tops will buy it back, something like that. We got a Diego Lopez um, rookie card. So really cool. We got um, Alexander Volkanovski, just recently lost, but at one point he was the champion. We got Hoist Gracie, purple, nice card. Hoist Gracie base. And then we have those King Queens Jax cards. Um, this is really cool. And it's rounded on the edges, which I like. It gives it that, you know, not trading card fill, but, you know, Kings, you know, the nah, one of those cards, spade cards, whatever. Uh, Michael Chandler, he's supposed to fight Conor McGregor here soon, eventually, hopefully, you know, so who do you guys got, Michael Chandler or Conor McGregor on that? Uh, Daniel Cormier, this guy's an Olympic gold medalist, he was a champion at one point, he fought John Jones twice, so at one point this guy was, um, you know, on the top of the on the top of the hill, but now he's a broadcast, he does broadcast, but yeah, this guy's a dog. Um, moving on. Got George St. Pierre, I got the base card, and then I got the negative George St. Pierre. Super legend right here, too. I have, um, I think these are called super giant cards. So we got Amanda Nunes. This girl fights like a man and hits like a man. She's knocked out Ronda Rousey. She's knocked out Chris Cyborg. And she, she's a dog. I think she's she left as a champion, I believe. Um, we got Sean O'Malley. Super giant. If you guys watched that fight with Cheeto recently, he had Cheeto one of the most craziest, vicious knees I ever seen. And Cheeto, for some reason, did not fall, did not get knocked out or dropped. But unbelievable hit. Uh, Wei Long or Shang Wei Li, um, she's really good too. And we got Conor McGregor. Just watch the Roadhouse. He's pretty good in it. Uh, moving on, we got the tell of the tape, Alexander Volkanovski. So. It's kind of funny because they put the stats here, but then <laughs> right here, so I don't know. They could have like at least did something else on the back. I think that would have been cool. Um, moving on. Here's some of the better pulls I believe I got. Um, so we got Khabib. And if you look, this one's actually 033 out of 299. We got Khabib base. We got Yuri. Um, this is 205 out of 299. He actually fought um, Alex Pereira and got knocked out by him. But other than that, this guy was just, he was the champion. We got Dominic Reyes. Again, this is a uh, 122 out of 199. Seal card, um, Dominic, Dominic Reyes at one point was um, gonna be, you know, the, the best thing, you know, and here he is fighting John Jones. And everybody believes he actually beat John Jones in this fight. And if he would have beat him, then he would have became the champion. And I think his career would have went completely different. But uh, Dominic Reyes actually suffered a lot of knockout losses um, after this fight. So he's no longer on the top of the hill like he once was when he was fighting John Jones, unfortunately. We have uh, Brian Ortega. This guy, uh, we got 29 out of 75, blue. Um, really cool card. Brian Ortega is a dog, man. Just uh, recently beat, I believe, uh, Yuri Rodriguez. So that's a good one. Um, here we got uh, Royal Rojas, uh, signed autograph. And this is um, zero, what do I got? I got, if I could get it in that picture, 040 out of 150, I believe. Yeah. But um, yeah, really cool card. Congratulations. This is an authentic Future Stars autograph card from 2024 Tops Chrome. So really good, really cool pull. Now, guys. Now we're gonna get to one of the, I guess one of the hottest cards I got. So I got Stipe, um, base card, Stipe, Tele de Tate. 
and then I got steep at purple and then I got check this out guys if I could get in focus 8 out of 10 autograph steep card champion congratulations this authentic marks of champion autograph card guys 8 out of 10 check that out so very pumped about this and overall um i got some other cards and some sleeves in there but um for the most part the ones i showed you so far are pretty much um good hits and this has to be the number one right here because come on really cool steve is gonna fight john jones here soon too so wow all right guys eight out of ten um, thanks for watching. If you guys have any questions, please comment. And I, I'm going to have another box here coming in here soon. So we'll go ahead and open up that one. So I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.